can you get cars super cheap at salvage auctions, insurance auctions, rental auctions? Copart is one of the uh, companies that runs the auctions for cars all across the country. There are tons and tons of Copart locations and there's probably thousands, there's at least hundreds of cars sold per, uh, per weekday on Copart. There's auctions going almost all the time. So this is kind of the uh, start of my journey of trying to figure out the Copart. I have registered, um, I've done some tests, I've done some setup, uh, but I'm doing a little bit of a tutorial here. So this is how you would begin. So this is the Copart landing page. Um, you would click on register to register when you first sign up. Uh, they have different types of membership. So I'd started with the free membership. So basically register, put your information in, and you're in the free um, section. You can see what uh, vehicles are going for. You can kind of watch auctions. Um, says you can save some searches. Um, that, that, that's a good place to start so you can kind of see what it's going before you uh, spend any money. Uh, the basic $99 per year, you register for that. Uh, basically, it just says you can join multiple auctions at a time, but this gives you the ability to bid. On this one, you've got to put a deposit down, basically 10% of however high you're going to bid. For the Premier, the 249 that one, you give a $400 deposit, and it gives you, I believe it's a $100,000 bidding limit, but much higher bidding limit. Um, so that would be the one if you're serious about it. Do the free one to figure out what you're going to do. Um, then once you're going to actually bid, you do the uh, second one. Um, and when you register for this one, uh, if you're a private party, you've got to give your driver's license. Uh, they give you a little... Um, QR code on the screen, assuming you're using it on PC, and uh, you take a picture of the QR code, then you take a picture of your driver's license, and then it has you do a selfie to prove who you are. So it's got your ID and a picture of yourself to prove who you are. And then if you are a business, you would upload some documentation for that. So basically, click on register. Uh, if you're business, obviously click business. Uh, so if you're watching this, you're probably just a person. So you would uh, click on person. Uh, before you got too far, you can chat, ask questions. But over here, kind of hiding under my face, is the uh, new member guide. This has some really good information in it. Um, so this you would look through because each state has different laws for car dealers. So you want to go through and look at what uh, your situation is. This talks about uh, guest membership, basic membership, premium membership. So that's the free, the $100 and the $250 basically. Uh, it goes through a few more things, joining the auction. I mean, read through all this stuff, make sure you know what you're doing. Make a deposit. Talk about how you can uh, put a deposit to bid. What can you buy? So each state has different rules, and here it is. So it depends on which state you are. So you wanna look at what state you're in and what state you're gonna buy from. So possibly, say if you're in a state like Wisconsin where I'm at, basically you gotta be a dealer or a scrap dealer or something. You've gotta have a state uh, issued bid card to bid. But you can go uh, next door in Minnesota. I mean, yeah, it's, not exactly close, but it is the next door state. And basically you can bet anything over in Minnesota. Uh, so know, know, where you're, know where you're at, know what state you're bidding in, but um, know that you can buy from other states. Um, looking at it, getting it home, yeah, that can be an issue. But uh, yeah, I guess think outside of the box, come up with your options are. The ones where it says broker, that means that it is a dealer required, but there is brokers available that can uh, work on your behalf. Um, and, and see, some of the states have different, like dismantlers. So like that would be um, buying a car, but it's not gonna be put back on the road. So they're just buying it for the parts, basically. Um, and inside of Copart, you'll see there's lots of different ways cars are bought. Uh, many, cannot be fixed. 
Um, some have good titles, some are salvaged, but some are just for parts or some they've already been scrapped. It's just a bill of sale. But I mean, there's a lot of them that you can't put back on the road. You can't get a title for at least. Uh, this also runs through more of the processes. So familiarize yourself with all of this. Um, and at some point here, I'll show you the bid window, but that's basically the bid window. Um, it shows you the uh, most recent bid, gives you the countdown, shows the car, shows what's up next. Obviously, before you bid, you would have hopefully gone and seen it, have some idea what you're bidding on. If it's a distance away, you know, how are you gonna get it home? Are you gonna have somebody haul it? You're gonna have somebody inspect it before you bid. Um, but those are your basic, uh, basic terms, conditions. Yeah, and descriptions, I, I mean, don't bank on that. You want to make sure it runs and drives doesn't mean it, you're going to be able to jump in it and drive it down the highway. Runs and drives means it starts and it goes into gear. It doesn't mean it, uh, you know, moves more than, say, maybe first gear. Uh, but that's the, um, the new member guide. So you go in, enter your, your information, hit the create account, it's going to send you an email to verify it's going to want your phone number to verify so then you can see what the uh, auctions uh, once you're in you can see what the auctions are running um, let's see if I get in today's auction join here we go so this is the only auction that's open um, it's kind of evening right now when I'm doing this. New bidder! And that is way too loud. No confetti's on. There, maybe that uh, blocked that, but that voice is probably still going to come in. Um, so it says 272 vehicles left in this auction. This is the one they're working on right now. Uh, certificate of salvage title. See, it says it runs and dries, damages in the rear end. You can click through pictures. It seems like it changed vehicles there, though. Because that was a lot darker. Um, runs and drives, but sold as is. Okay, and like this one, so it's saying required license not on file. So what that's saying is that you need a uh, dealer license to bid on this one. But many of them do. Yeah, I, I mean, it's kind of running through these this fast. So like this one's $525. Runs and dries, has mechanical. So it's got primary and secondary. But basically you want to familiarize, familiarize yourself with this before you go to a uh, location to look at parts. You want to kind of see what stuff's going for um, and how the process works. Over on the right side, you can see the upcoming ones. Um, on reserve means there is a price that they have to hit. Um, the pure sale, it'll say if it's one that uh, is gonna sell no matter what. The on reserve though will typically tell you once it hits the reserve. Um, and then there's a lot of them they'll sell that are on approval. And that means that the bid's gonna go through, it's gonna say on approval, and then you don't hear back for maybe a day. But when you're a beginner and you have that uh, deposit, that blocks you, you know, if you win an on approval one, that blocks you from bidding on another vehicle. So you're kind of stuck. So you may wanna look at the reserve ones, because on the reserve, at least you'll know if the reserve has been met or I ideally the pure sale so you know um, and then each of these things has an explanation you know like um, what is one let me click on that um, you, you can kind of click on the different things and it'll tell you what's uh, you know what each thing means and of course it's not doing it now certificate of title um, Let's go to 
vehicle finder. So you go to vehicle finder, you can, like uh, that'll, that'll tell you when you're a beginner, go to co-part select. So theoretically, this is the better cars. But, oh, okay, let's look at a 2023 BMW. So the 2023 BMW, it's got the VIN. I don't know if you can actually see that. Because ideally you'd run book values and you could look things up. Uh, so this one's got a starting price. And then it's got this bid eligibility. I'm actually not even logged in right now, so it's not going to say anything. But you can click on this check now and that'll tell you if you need a license to buy that one. Um, and then the green light, red light is uh, different ratings. The uh, color means if you can arbitrate or not. So green basically means uh, that it should be good. They've uh, run it against the uh, the um, reader on the uh, OB, OBD2 sensor. Uh, if you're logged in, it'll give you the option down here to check uh, shipping costs. So a lot of times uh, shipping, I don't know, for me most of my checked are out of 500 to about $1,500 depending on where the car is at. Obviously if it's in Hawaii, it's not gonna let you uh, ship a uh, car with that service. It's, it's just basically a delivery service. Um, auto check, but th there's a lot of different ways to do research. Um, you wanna be careful though on the, uh, well, okay, like this one, title pending. Like they don't even have the title. Hopefully they'll get the title, but they don't even have the title yet. So it's possible that you're not gonna get a title for that. Um, I believe they'll cancel the sale if they don't get it, but you wanna make sure you know what you're doing, um, especially the more expensive something is. Um, so that's basically the beginning of it. Uh, go in, set yourself up so you have an account so you can start saving stuff and seeing what it is. Learn what all the different uh, items are you know, like your green light, yellow light, red light. Basically in the uh, arbitration. Oh, here we go. Here's the arbitration policy. So you can see what each thing is as far as guarantee. Because they are like red light. Uh, well, and I mean, and some of these cars are, I mean, they're just, they're literally just parts. I mean, they're, there's, there's no way you're going to save them. So, uh, you know, each one has got a little bit of a different story. I mean, keep in mind, there's a reason why these were sent here. Most of them are, were totaled by an insurance company. So, I mean, if they totaled it, uh, they didn't think it was worth saving. Uh, you know, possibly you're gonna do the work yourself, you can do it cheaper and it is worth saving. But the, like the damage that you're looking at, there might be other damage um, there's a lot of, you know, I've seen some with underbody damage or frame damage. Um, so it's like, they're, they're going to know like the main thing that's wrong with it, but they're not necessarily going to tell you everything that's wrong with it. Cause like it was totaled cause it hit a tree, but like maybe the tranny doesn't work. The engine doesn't start or maybe the tree's a bad example, but you know what I mean? That there, there could be multiple, multiple things wrong with it. Um, but a lot of tools on here to search around. You can put your zip code in, do a distance to try to find vehicles that are closer so you know which ones you can look at. Um, depending on what state you can buy in, you can uh, go to those uh, states and see what they have, see what they can ship. There are services that'll check cars out for you. I'm not sure how good that would go. Some will have buy it now, some have a bid. Notice the buy it now button is the same place as a detail button, but you can just click on the lot and it'll take you into it. Obviously, uh, I'm in Wisconsin, so I don't really want to buy one in California. The shipping's going to be crazy. Um, and you can also uh, search by amount of damage. There's ways to search for amount of damage. You can uh, look with no license required. So if you're just a, a person looking, the no license required is a good option. There are some, like, okay, like this one, clean title. I and mean, possibly that is like a theft recovery. Oh, it's got that 2.7 four cylinder engine. Maybe just nobody wanted it. I just don't know how that engine is gonna last. 
It looks like the work truck. Um, but like this, I don't really see why it's here. Certificate of title, Arizona, 7,000 miles. $44,000, that's like the price of them brand new right now for that trim level. Green light. I mean, you could look in the car facts. You can look in the different history reports. You know, maybe it'll say. Could be repossessed. Um, oh, seller, GM Financial. How would they repossess it with 7,000 miles on it, though? Like, you would think they would have put more than that on it. Um, so this is on approval. So it's going to go through. They're going to bid, and you're not even going to know if you win until afterwards. So you can watch this auction. You're not even going to know what it sold for. Um, I've added some to my watch list, but it doesn't seem like they, if I don't bid on them, it doesn't seem like it tells me what it's sold for. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to see that. But I will do more updates. Um, but if you're interested, make an account, start watching. Nothing else that's interesting to see what they have. And uh, possibly you'll find something that you can make, uh, make a profit on. All right, going to cut this off. Thank you.